Cl Captain Rex, as with all clones, was based off of the genetic template of infamous bounty hunter Jango Fett. During his training, Cap showed better skills than usual and was trained as a clone captain, before being assigned directly under General Anakin Skywalker in the 501st Legion. Rex fought on many front lines throughout the Clone Wars and proved himself to be not only an invaluable asset, but a powerful warrior. Although his eventual fate is unknown, it is known that he was no longer serving directly under Anakin Skywalker by the time of Operation Nightfall. The infamous bounty hunter known as IG-88 began life as a top secret Imperial project to build an assassin droid capable of taking down the Rebel Alliance before they truly became a threat. However, the main IG-88 droid woke up and gained semi synonyms before the Imperials were ready, effortlessly killing its creators. Designating itself IG-88A, it activated the free of IG-88s and they left to the planet of Mechas Free. There, while IG-88 A, A, B, and C began constructing a grand plan to take over the galaxy with the reprogrammed droids produced by the planet, IG-88 D went off to be and garnered quite a reputation as a fearsome bounty hunter. Uh, however, it was eventually destroyed by none other than Boba Fett. IG-88 B and C fell on in its footsteps, attempting to take down Boba Fett, although they too were destroyed. The only one left of its kind, IG-88A uploaded its conscious into the Death Star's main core, planning to take over it to destroy planets at the same time activating all its reprogrammed droids to take over the galaxy. However, before this happened, Wedge Antilles and Lando Carcillian destroyed the second Death Star, ending the IG-88 series for good. Greetings, viewers and fellow Imperial Knights. This is the older brother for Brothers Making Movies, here with a Never vs. video. The Star Wars galaxy spans a humongous time period, thousands upon thousands of years, with many, many interesting and powerful characters, and not all of them force sensitive. So on request, today we look at two of them. This is Clone Captain Rex vs. IG-88 on request. It should be noted, since neither of them have lightsabers, the force, or any kind of dueling capabilities really, I have eliminated two of the categories. With the explanation out of the way, let us begin. Captain Rex, because of the accelerated growth of clone troopers, is roughly the equivalent of a human male aged 24. He is almost quick enough to keep up with his Jedi generals. He is strong enough to survive a direct blaster hit to the chest, although it should be noted he was wearing armor at the time. And he has power enough mental capacity to, at first anyways, be able to resist Asajj Ventress's mind trick enough to warn General Skywalker. All around, Captain Rex is the pinnacle of physical strength for the clone army. And he has been demonstrated capable of punching down battle droids. And even though they are rather weak and stupid, the B1 series battle droids do have an inch thick of armor and are droids. So the fact that Captain Rex along with the upper clones can physically take them down speaks volumes for the Republic's training. Although he does have some grasp of tactics, as demonstrated in the Umbara arc, Captain Rex is to fulfill the Jedi General's orders instead of coming up with his own, as should be expected from a clone trooper of the Republic Army. The IG-88 series is constructed out of some kind of metal alloy that is highly bullet resistant. They are incredibly strong and generally have to be blasted into numerous pieces, basically turned into scrap metal, before they will actually be taken down. In addition to this, IG-88s are quite fast, generally out sprinting just about any organic being safe for force sensitives. On top of this, as assassin droids, they have highly developed droid intellects and are more than capable of ensnaring their enemies with traps and snares. It should be noted that they are so deceptively brilliant in their tactics they were able to hide their droid operations on Mecha's free from Lord Vader himself. 
Basically, the IG series is all around incredibly tough to kill and can out maliciously outthink their opponents to destroy them. Captain Rex comes equipped with the standard Clone Trooper Phase 2 armor. He has added some modifications to them, but they are purely cosmetic. Although the armor is equipped with a wide variety of gear, the majority of it is entirely useless in a one-on-one -on -one fight like this. Designed for a survival situation or to work in conjuncture with other clone troopers. And let's face it, his grappling hook really isn't going to do any good here. His main weapons of choice are two dual blaster pistols which have enough power in them to puncture super battle droid armor. He has also demonstrated himself capable of using a more standard clone trooper blaster rifle and is an extremely good marksman. IG-88, quite simply put, is a walking armory. Built into him is a flamethrower, grenade launcher, and several blasters. In addition to this, he can heat his metal chest just enough to burn through nets, and his, he has 360 vision thanks to his photoreceptors. In addition to all of this, he still usually carries a powerful blaster rifle, which due to his droid vein, he hardly ever misses with. In the end, this is a tough one to call. IG-88 does certainly have more weapons, but Captain Rex does have an ace up his sleeve in the form of droid poppers, which I just now realized I forgot to mention when talking about his weapons, so I'll explain it here. Droid poppers are basically handheld EMPs that can instantly destroy large groups of droids. Although I don't think this will get an instant kill as IG-88 is advanced, much more advanced than the separate droids Rex was facing, he is shown to be demonstrated to not be entirely immune to these kind of attacks, as Boba Fett once took down IG-88 with a handheld ion cannon. Despite this, due to IG-88's 360 vision, I don't really think Captain Rex would get the chance to throw a popper at him. And seeing as IG-88's droid bane makes him a better marksman than Captain Rex, even though Captain Rex is a admittedly very good marksman, I do have to give the edge in armament to IG-88 as well. And now the verdict. Captain Rex is a fiercely loyal soldier and one of the top tire clones if you don't count fiends like the ARC Troopers or Clone Commandos. However, at the end of the day, he is your average Republic Commander. IG-88, on the other hand, is basically outclassed by Sith, Jedi, and Boba Fett for his age, and that's about it. He is a walking death machine who can easily decimate large groups of people and has demonstrated a near unstoppable malicious intent to take down his opponent. And I, though I do think it's possible Captain Rex could win this battle, I think it's much more likely that IG-88 IG would be able to get in a fatal hit long before Rex was capable of it. I give IG-88 the victory. If you disagree or want to suggest an effort versus video, please leave it in the comments below. This is The Order Brothers, signing off.